So, are you ready to start a business in Alabama but scared of the legal stuff? Well, you're not alone. In fact, many people give up before they even start. In this video, I'll show you how to navigate the process step by step, and guess what? It can be done in just a few minutes. Plus, I'll share some helpful tips to help you avoid common mistakes and unnecessary fees. I get it. The whole process can seem super complicated and overwhelming, but here's the good news. It doesn't have to be. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to set up your Alabama LLC without the stress. And trust me, I've got a secret weapon that makes it super easy. So stick around and let's get started. The first two big steps to LLC success. All right, let's dive into the first two big steps to LLC success in Alabama. You might think it's just about filing out some forms, but there's a lot more to it. Don't worry though, I'm going to break it down for you in a way that's easy to understand. Step one is choosing a name for your LLC. Now, this isn't just about picking something that sounds cool. There are some rules you need to follow. First off, your name has to include either limited liability company or LLC at the end. And this isn't just a suggestion, it's required by law in Alabama. But here's the tricky part. You can't just use any name you want. You need to make sure it's not already taken by another business in Alabama. Trust me, you don't want to go through all the trouble of setting up your LLC only to find out someone else is already using your name. So how do you check if a name is available? Well, the Alabama Secretary of State has a business entity search tool on their website. It's super easy to use. Just type in the name you want and it'll tell you if it's already taken. If it is, don't get discouraged. Just keep on trying until you find the one that's available. Now, here's a pro tip. If you find a name you'll like, but you're not quite ready to start your LLC, you can actually reserve the name for a small fee. It costs just $25 and it'll hold the name for you for 120 days. That gives you plenty of time to get everything else in order. Now, let's move on to step number two, appointing a registered agent. This might sound fancy, but it's actually pretty straightforward. A registered agent is basically the person or company that receives official papers for your LLC. This could be things like legal documents or tax forms. Now, here's the important part. Your registered agent needs to have a physical address in Alabama, and they need to be available during normal business hours to receive these documents. Now, you might be thinking, can't I just do this myself? And the answer is, yes, you can. But there is a catch. If you act as your own registered agent, your home address becomes public record. Anyone can look it up. And you have to be available at that address during normal business hours. That might not be a big deal if you work from home, but it can be a real hassle if you don't. And that's the reason why a lot of people choose to use a professional registered agent service. These services provide a business address for your LLC and handle all the paperwork for you. It's a great way to keep your personal information private and make sure you never miss any important documents. Now, you might be wondering why all this is necessary. Well, having a registered agent ensures that your LLC can always be reached for important legal matters. It's a way of making sure your business stays in good standing with the state. The paperwork, certificate of formation and operating agreements. Now that we've covered naming your LLC and choosing a registered agent, let's talk about the real meat of starting your Alabama LLC, the paperwork. I know, I know, paperwork isn't exactly exciting, but it's crucial to get this right. First up, we've got the certificate of formation. This is basically your LLC's birth certificate. It's the document that officially brings your LLC into existence in the eyes of Alabama. Now you might be thinking it's just a simple form, but there is a lot more to it than that. When you're filing out the certificate of formation, you need to provide some key information. This includes your LLC's name, the name and address of your registered agents, and the names of the LLC organizers. Sounds simple enough, right? Well, here's where it gets a little bit tricky. You also need to decide on your LLC's management structure. Will it be member managed or manager managed? This decision can have big implications for how your business operates. So it's not something to take lightly. But I will say that most people opt in for member managed. 
Now, once you filed out the certificate of formation, you need to file it with the Alabama Secretary of State. And here's where patience comes into play. The processing time for this document is typically about two weeks. But don't think you can just sit back and relax during this time. If there are any errors in your paperwork, it can cause delays. And you don't want to be sitting around waiting for weeks on end because you made a simple mistake on your form. That's why it's super important to double check everything before you submit it. Now, let's talk about the operating agreements. This is a document that outlines how your LLC will be run. The funny thing is Alabama doesn't actually require you to have an operating agreement. But let me tell you, skipping this step is a big mistake. Think of the operating agreement as a prenup for your business. It might seem unnecessary now, but it can actually save you big headaches later. This document outlines things like how profits and losses will be shared, what happens if a member wants to leave the LLC, and how decisions will be made. Without an operating agreement, you're leaving a lot up to chance. And in business, you don't want to leave anything to chance. Plus, having a solid operating agreement can make your LLC look more legitimate to banks, potential partners, and even the IRS. Now, creating an operating agreement isn't just about writing down a few rules. You need to think carefully about every aspect of how you want your business to run. And if you have partners, you need to make sure everyone's on the same page. Trust me, it's much easier to hash out these details now than to try and figure them out when you're in the middle of a disagreement later on. One thing that trips a lot of people is maintaining the separation between personal and business finances. Your operating agreement can help you with this by clearly defining how money flows in and out of the business. This is super important because mixing personal and business transactions can lead to losing the limited liability protection of your LLC. In other words, if you're not careful, creditors could come after your personal assets. And that's exactly what we're trying to avoid by forming an LLC in the first place. Now, you might be thinking, this all sounds like a lot of work. And you're right, it is. But here's the thing, getting this stuff right from the start can save you a ton of headaches down the road. Plus, there are ways to make the process easier. Getting your EIN plus other post-formation steps to keep in mind. All right, so you've got your LLC name, your registered agent, and your paperwork in order. You're feeling pretty good, right? Well, hold on to that feeling because we're not quite done yet. There are a few more steps you need to take to get your Alabama LLC up and running smoothly. First up, let's talk about getting an EIN. That stands for Employer Identification Number. Think of it like a social security number, but for your business. You will need this nine digit number to open a business bank account, hire employees, and file your taxes. The good news? Well, getting an EIN is free and pretty straightforward. You can apply online through the IRS website, and in most cases, you'll get your number right away. But here's something a lot of people don't realize. Even if you're the only person in your LLC, you still need an EIN. It's not just for businesses with employees. Having an EIN helps keep your personal and business finances separate, which is super important for maintaining your LLC's liability protection. Now, once you've got your EIN, you're not done. There are a few more things you need to keep in mind. For example, Alabama requires LLCs to file an annual report. This isn't as scary as it sounds. It's basically just confirming that your LLC's formation is still up to date. But here's the thing. If you forget to file this report, you could face penalties or even have your LLC dissolved. That's definitely not something you want to deal with. You also need to think about ongoing compliance. This means keeping your personal and business finances separate, holding regular meetings if you have multiple members, and keeping detailed records of your business transactions. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's way easier to stay on top of these things from the start than to try and fix problems later on. And let's not forget about taxes. As an LLC owner, you need to make sure you're paying the right taxes at the right time. This can get complicated, especially if you're not used to dealing with business taxes. You might need to make quarterly estimated tax payments, for example, or deal with Alabama's business privilege tax. Your Alabama LLC success awaits. All right, now you know all the secrets to starting your Alabama LLC without the stress. It's time to make your dreams a reality. 
I know it might still seem like a lot, but remember, you don't have to do this alone. What if I told you there's a way to handle all this without losing sleep? That's right, I'm talking about using a professional LLC formation service. These services can take care of pretty much everything we've talked about here. Instead of trying to figure out all the requirements on your own, you can focus on what really matters, growing and running your business. Now, you might be wondering, is this really worth it to pay for a service when I could do this myself? Well, let me ask you this. How much is your time worth? And more importantly, how much would a legal mistake cost you? So I've got an exclusive deal for you. If you use my link in the description of this video, you can get started with Northwest Registered Agents for just $39. That's a steal for the peace of mind you will get. Remember, every successful business starts with a single step. Your step could be as simple as clicking a link to get professional help. So what are you waiting for? Your Alabama LLC adventure starts now. Thank you so much for watching and good luck with your LLC.